Today, we are talking about idempotent matrices. This has nothing to do with nilpotent matrices. However, if you miss my video about nilpotent matrices, don't worry because you will find the link in the description below. So let's start immediately giving the only definition we need today. An idempotent matrix is a square M times M matrix A such that A square is equal to A. Don't forget that A square simply means A times A. I am assuming you already know how to multiply matrices. If you don't know, don't worry, because you will find in the description below the link to the video where we define the product of matrices. So now I'd like to give you an example of an idempotent matrix. I chose an example of a 3 times 3 matrix. In order to show that A is idempotent, we simply need to multiply A with itself and show that the result is still A. There are nine row column products to perform, as we already studied. Let's just verify the computation for a couple of entries. Let's check, for example, this first element, the number two. This is obtained as follows. We take the first row of the left matrix and the first column of the right matrix. Then we perform the following operations. It will be two times two plus minus two times minus one plus minus four times one. And at the end, we obtain exactly the number two. Then we can, for example, compute this element, the element three here. This is obtained taking the second row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. Then we perform the following operations, minus one times minus two plus three times three plus four times minus two. And the result is exactly the number three that we have. Now we can continue. Now we are analyzing another interesting example. The matrix I is again a three times three square matrix. And it is very easy to check that I square is equal to I. Don't forget that I square is again I times I. This time I leave to you the straightforward computations. This last matrix I is called the identity matrix of order three or simply the identity and will be studied in the next video. So please stay tuned. The following on the contrary will be an example of a matrix which is not idempotent. As in the case of nilpotent matrices, it is important to stress that most of the matrices are not idempotent. By this, I mean that if you randomly choose a square matrix, it is very likely that it won't be idempotent. In this case, we chose the matrix C, whose entries are 0, 1, 1, 0. Let's prove that this matrix is not idempotent. C times C is equal to a diagonal matrix, as you can see from the easy computations. Then it's uh, not equal to C, which is not diagonal. If you missed my video on triangular and diagonal matrices, please feel free to watch it. You will find the link in the description below. Little spoiler alert, this last matrix, the diagonal one, is again called the identity or identity of order two. But again, you need to wait until the next video to have more details about that. And that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much again. Bye.